got some good juice. This is cranberry juice, by the way, y'all. I'm drinking cranberry juice. My twin bought it. It was 100% unsweet. She did not know. So I'm drinking it since she isn't drinking it. So I realized I'd never shared this story with y'all before. And y'all see by the title what this is going to be about. So let me go ahead and get into it. But before I get into it, let me get into the backstory. I'm trying to figure out how I can explain this backstory to y'all because I don't want it to not make sense. Y'all know what I'm saying? But I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try to go in order. So I used to take dancing classes. It was free. And, and my dance teacher, she used to dance for Alvin Ailey, but she didn't go on to like perform like all those people did. But she was there to teach me ballet, and I will get into the backstory on that in another video and tell y'all why. But my mom, she used to take us to her friend's house, and we would have play dates with her son. And she was like, she needed something for him to do, so my mom suggested putting him in dance class. And she started doing it, and she saw that he liked it because, y'all, Literally, I know this boy was going to be my childhood best friend, and we used to play together all the time, and we used to go to dance class most days, but one day, his dad found out, and I guess he told his dad he was taking dance classes, and he loved taking dance, and his dad wasn't too happy about that. He said his son was not going to be a little sissy, like, y'all, this man was talking down on my friend, like, literally, because he wanted to do dance, and she his mom she just needed him to have an extracurricular activity to just you know shake out all the extra energy he had and then it all just got out of control and his dad ended up taking him to stay with him and his other family so i didn't see him for a while a long while and i just forgot about him i forgot about my childhood best friend y'all that's that's something you should never forget, right? Well, one day in high school, finally got to high school, I think I was a freshman, and he probably was a junior at that time when he came back. I just noticed how all these females was talking about this dude, talking about how fine he was. I'm like, who the heck is they talking about? And then one day he came in the lunchroom, and my twin, me and her, we looked at each other, and I was like, that's the dude they talk about? I said, he is fine, but um, I was like, I don't know that dude. And my twin was like, you should know him. You remember him. That's our friend. And I was like, wait a minute. Are you serious? So I went up to him. I asked him what his name was. And I asked him, did you used to have big old bug eyes as a kid? He was like, yeah. I said, oh my gosh, I forgot about you. I am so sorry. I said, it's been so long. And then as I was talking to him, a whole crowd of females just swarmed up in front of him. And, like, I was pushed back. And he was like, I'm sorry. Like, he didn't say it, but he mouthed the words. And I was like, it's all right. That part, it was just, it was just crazy. And I didn't see him until we had class together. And then he started talking to this girl. Their relationship was just so freaking messy. She ended up cheating on him, and they broke up and stuff like that. And it was just a sad, sad day. I didn't like seeing my friends sad. And one day, we had drama class together. We always took a bus to our theater. Theater? It was a theater, but it was the Board of Education. But it had a theater in there. Y'all see? I don't know. But... That's where we had our drama meetings. That's where we had our practices. And I just went and I sat beside him because he looked so freaking sad. I was like, you know, did y'all use protection, you know, because they had unprotected, you know. And he was like, no. I was like, look, I'm not going to judge you because they ain't my business to know, you know. Even though I did want to know what they did, but I'm like, this is not my business. It's nobody's business. I'm still going to be your friend, you know. And as I was talking to him, I was like, so I want to know what you've been up to, what happened, why you were gone for so long. And as he started explaining the whole situation, everything went freaking dark. He just went pitch black. And I saw this glowing white light out of like a window that was like to my, to my left. 
and I could not hear anything. I don't know. It probably looked like I was going to sleep, but I wasn't. And then by the time I woke up, I was like, what the fudge just happened? And he sat there. He was looking at me. I said, I am so sorry. I don't know what the fudge happened. I promise you I didn't go to sleep. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to just go. And he was gone for a good little while. And I, at first, at first I thought it was God, but it wasn't. I said that was an angel. And I still try to talk to him after that. And, like, our friendship, it was more than a friendship. Because <laughs> I remember when we were little, my dad's teacher was like, oh, he likes her. I think they're going to be together. Y'all, I was flirting with my friend. We liked each other. We tried, but we could not. The, the relationship just wouldn't have worked because we were always being watched. Everybody could feel like we were supposed to be something. We were supposed to be in a relationship together, but it just didn't work out the way it was supposed to work out. And um, this was just everything that surrounded the whole angel situation because I don't know. It's like, it was like somebody saved somebody. Somebody was an angel. And I like, I tried. I'm not going to go into details, but yeah, y'all, yeah, I saw an angel when I was trying to get to know my best friend. Someone who was my best friend. We don't, we don't speak much now, but he's in a relationship. Hopefully it's a healthy one. But I just hope that he's very, very happy. I hope that he's just trying his best to, you know, navigate this world, navigate this life, and just, you know, be the best person that he could be because my friend, he has a whole lot of talent. Heck, my best friend, my childhood best friend, has a whole lot of talent that he's not using. And I just want him to succeed and to be the best person that, I know he could be. But yeah, y'all. My angel story. Like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell, turn on post notifications, and I'll see y'all in another video.